Many cities are placed in, in coastal areas, they are placed near water, and they are not thought out to deal with a time where water levels are rising, where there are more flooding and there are more heavy rainfalls. So to get Danish cities ready for this new climate, we asked them to do three things. Number one is that in my time as minister, we actually gave these cities maps to work with, digital atlases over their city, so they could actually map where would the water come. If we have a heavy rainfall, where will the water go? Which areas are most vulnerable? And which areas do we have to protect to, in order to handle like real emergency? Number two, we asked all municipalities to have emergency plans. So what will we do if we see a water, a storm coming? And actually now we have weather data, so we can actually prepare for storms coming. And it could be simple things like, we need to run to this area and throw sandbags in order to, to guide the water somewhere else than to the hospital or to the most uh, commercial areas with the highest value. I mean, where do, do you direct the water? Where does it do the least damage? Have emergency plans ready. Number three, we ask everyone to help us handle this new scenario where we have to deal with much, much more water at the same time in the systems. So what we need to do is think of ways to store water in ways where it's not a problem in itself. So instead of spending a lot of money on just building a cistern and using concrete and taking away space in the city, for instance, you could maybe use this same money for building a skateboard ramp where you could actually store as much water as 25 swimming pools when it rains heavily. So you would then create a whole area that had a multifunctional system. So my advice would be to take a three-step approach. Get your maps ready so you know where the water will hit and which areas are vulnerable. Two, make sure that you have emergency plans. And three, try to think of new ways of storing water where you solve several problems at the same time. It's much cheaper, it's a much better way of handling this extra water instead of paying for cleaning it up afterwards.